be in there working in my uh, crook neck yellow summer squash germinating the female that's a female plant and that bee was just in there germinating it here it is now it's going it's, it's in the male area and it's flying back around and went back to the female look at that from the male to the female so you can see the female has a bunch of those lobes in the male has one one pointy lobe. There's the male flower. And you just seen the bee fly to the male flower and then back to the female flower. You see him in there working the female flower. He's coming back out. I don't know where he's hitting. I guess he's done with them. He's on, on off to the races. No, he's heading back to the male flower. No. He flew by the male flower. He's searching. And he came right back to the female flower. But as you've seen, he had pollen all over his back. So I guess that female flower got some good stuff in it. But he's been going back and forth from the male to the female. And coincidentally, the, the male that he's been going to is on a completely different plant. So I guess you could say... The bee is cross-pollinating my plants. <laughs> See, maybe we get lucky he'll come back out one more time and go to the mail and then come back. But you witness pollen being transferred from the male to the female on the back of a bee. There you go. He come, he's coming out. And he went back in. So that's definitely going to be some squash right there. I don't have to hand pollinate it. I come out a lot and hand pollinate. But in this particular case, I'm not going to have to. I could add some more pollen on there, but that bee is certainly taking care of it. Well, let's see, to get a video a little longer, let's see if he'll come back out and go back to the female. There he goes, he's coming out. He's in, in the male again. And he's about to get some of that male pollen on him, so on his back. Now he's heading back out of there. Got a whole back full of pollen. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Look at the male putting that pollen on his back. See all that pollen? Now he should be heading back to the female. Look, he, I think he's trying to rub that stuff off of him. It's on his antennas or something. Look, he's washing his face. I don't know. But he's going. He wants to go back in there. But he got that pollen on his back. Well. He moved on. He's flying away. He flew over there. Wow, he went to one of my female plants over here. There's a whole nother plant. Let me see if I can get in there and get a picture of him. He's in there somewhere. Let's see if he's in there. It looked like he flew up in there. Yes, he did. Look at that. That's a third plant. So he did, he's taking pollen to that plant. This is the third plant. He done took so he done took pollen from one male two females isn't that something see him in there I literally followed this bee all the way over here so this this plant I would have hand pollinated also 
I sure hope this camera angles are good for you guys. I don't know if anybody else has caught this actually happen. But he's in there. So I, he, he flew from one of my beds to a completely another bed. So as you get to see, you got to see two females being pollinated by a bee. And he had plenty of pollen on his back to carry over. And he's coming out of there. Bring him back up. Give him some space. Uh -uh, he went back in. So he completely pollinating that plant. Uh, it's hard to get under there. But I'm there. He's gone. I don't know where he went. Oh, he went to a male. He literally went to the male. The male was over here. He went to a male. There's a male. He literally went to a male just now. So, I got to be working my plants. You see all that pollen on the male? He literally went and got that pollen, and, and now he's back. There he is. So, there you have it, folks. A, a bee actually pollinating my squash. Crook neck yellow squash. But I'm still going to take a brush and actually spread some of that pollen myself because that bee didn't spread as much pollen as I like to spread. So, I'm going to get my little paintbrush. It's my paintbrush right here looking kind of blurry in the camera let me go over here let me get a little pollen out of there let me go here and get a little pollen if there's any left there's plenty of left see that and transfer it to the female i like to put it down the middle first oh he went back in there he's in there he's like hey who's that up in here let me back out but I had to get a female little pollen. Let me get in there. Me and the bee can work together. Go back and get some more pollen. I don't, I don't think he, he'll attack me. Because I'm, I'm helping him. We, we, we're working together. Put a little pollen on there. And so now the female has, has plenty of pollen on it. See that? That's going to turn into a nice... big old squash so I'm gonna go back over here and we're looking here there's no flowers there's no there's no females in there so we're gonna come back over here where he was just at and we can get a little little pollen from the male over here just a little I like to leave some and let so the bees can transfer some too a little pollen and we're going to take it over to the female same way it's kind of tight in here let's see it got leaves blocking my way where the, where's the female at and I'm going to try I usually lift it up myself by hand uh, how can I get in here this big old leaf and just go in there and rub it I can feel it but I go in there and just rub it on and get a little more it's kind of hard to do this and hold the camera too all right get me somebody to record for me there it is again pollen let's get in here <clears throat> get in there Put some more pollen on. That's all you do. The hand pollinate. That's it. So me and the bees can work together. Okay, folks. Ho ho hopefully that was interesting, educational. Uh, you don't often get to watch a bee go from the male to the 
female he's flying around again the female there he is right there if it's the same one it might be a whole different bee who knows but you don't get to see that often okay thanks for watching like and subscribe and leave comments